Hi, I'm Dave Gardner in Colorado, and I'm a filmmaker. I make films about our culture's obsession with growth. July 11th is World Population Day, a day to get excited about multiplication. And the human race has certainly done that. Being a capitalist in this country, we need a growing population. Our first and biggest opportunity is the expanding population. Markets are people. This shifting time My first documentary about growth was called Growth Busters Hooked on Growth. It was released about a year and a half ago and it's being shown all over the world. And it's a wake up call to help us uh, recognize that the world is full, we're in overshoot, and that it's time for us to embrace the end of growth. Uh, but I'm not stopping there. I'm continuing to use my filmmaking talents to wake people up. So I put out a new YouTube video whenever I can, try to inject a little bit of humor into it. I also speak to groups whenever I'm invited to speak, and I talk on radio and television shows. Every chance I get to help inspire people to embrace the end of growth and begin exploring much more sustainable ways of living. I've known Dave for about five years and I am so thrilled every time he develops a new project because he is so determined to try to put this issue of population growth and economic growth and the fact that they are now uneconomic, they're costing us more than we're gaining from them. And he is constantly creating a new project to take the issue to people, whether it's on the street, candid interviews with people, whether it's distributing condoms, whether it is doing his Growth Busters film and everything associated with it, whether it's engaging people at public events about population growth locally, so it's not just a global issue, it's a local issue too. He's also a run for city council, creating another platform for discussing these issues, and prior to that he wrote so many op-ed pieces in the Colorado Springs papers. So he's been uh, determined and always looking for new ways to bring these important subjects before a larger population. And I have to say he's one of relatively few people who sees a larger picture and knows that while we have benefited from economic growth, we've also reached the point where we're no longer benefiting. We're accruing all of these expenses, debts, liabilities that are coming back to haunt us and also the next generation even harder. Bring out your dead! There was a time when widespread disease and early dead. death were a daily fact of life. Today, our death carts are powered by cheap, abundant natural gas. Death and disease, they're back in style. Bring out your dead! Fracking. Cheap energy today, death and disease tomorrow. Bring out From the wonderful dead. folks who brought you Exxon Valdez and Deepwater Horizon, Bring out your dead! Is there any fracking going on in Colorado Springs today? Huh? Well, fracking recently came on my radar screen because certainly it is a humankind's desperate attempt to, to keep powering this, uh, this uh, economic growth that we just can't seem to get enough of. We're, we're so desperate for economic growth today that we're willing to take incredible risks with the, our health, our children's health, and the health of the planet. Fracking is a great example of that. So, uh, and Colorado is being fracked. Uh, we're under threat of a frack attack right here in Colorado Springs, so I decided to use some of my filmmaking talents to, to help spread the word and inspire people to, to stand up to the oil industry and say no thank you to fracking. We're going to try to keep this pretty quick today, but just in case it runs a little longer, we've brought you a little bit of extra water in case you get thirsty. Oh, I might mention that uh, that water did come from a domestic water well in a community that's been fracked. 
And I really want to know, if, if you're not willing to drink that water, then, then how you could in good conscience vote yes to open the door to the poisoning of the water in this community. I've been a filmmaker for over 30 years and most of my professional life I was working for big Fortune 500 companies, helping them grow, helping them grow their market. I, did, I worked in the oil industry, I worked for chemical companies, airlines, I even did a project for, for Enron. When you're chasing the, the hijacked American dream, the false dream of material wealth, you don't have time, really, to think about what really matters in life. And so my midlife crisis was getting back in touch with my kids, slowing down, and thinking more clearly and more uh, reflectively about what I wanted to do with my life. And it, at that point, it became really clear that I didn't want to spend my whole life uh, just helping big companies grow, but I wanted to do something that would make a, a real difference in the world. And I discovered that I discovered that my kids desperately needed an advocate for their world. We were, uh, our generation was busy depleting the resources of this world and, and stealing them from future generations. And they needed advocates, people who would stand up and say, wait a minute, we need to leave something for our kids and leave something for their kids. And that's really meaningful work.